like, what are we gonna find down here? What am I gonna see? Is there something that could have happened that I don't wanna see? We were looking all over the area and while we were walking, we heard somebody ask what type of shoes the girls were wearing. And I asked them what it was and they told me it was the black Nike and they said, yeah, th those were Libby's shoes. We were looking underneath the bridge and as soon as we'd gotten back to the private drive, somebody yelled up the hill that they'd found a shoe. And knowing that I dropped the girls off and I remembered what they were wearing, I knew exactly what shoes my sister and Abby were both wearing. As soon as they yelled up what type of shoe it was, I knew exactly whose it was. It wasn't long after they told us that they'd found the shoe that a searcher found the bodies of the girls. Once we got across it, we kind of looked underneath the bridge. So did you, when you went across, did you go down the, you know, not this, say down the hill, but did you go down the first hill to get to the private drive? Um, yeah, we did. We went down and we went down to the private drive. And then did you make it down to the next level, all the way down to the, underneath the bridge? You know, there's another yeah, hill. We went, we were way under the bridge. Like we were looking at all of this area. If I would have walked probably five feet from where we were, I would have been um, maybe five yards from where her shoe was. Okay, is this about where her shoe was found then, right there? That's just where uh -huh. I put a pin. Like I, I honestly, I have no idea where the shoe was. I was way up here, up, up the hill on the private drive. Oh, you're right in this area, right where this uh, Yeah, was. I was up here a little closer to the bridge when they yelled it up. Okay. And, but you couldn't see down the hill to where the guy was that found the shoe. So I don't know where the shoe was. I just know they yelled about it and asked me what shoes they were wearing. Did it seem like they were kind of over in this area though when they were? They were just, they were down here enough that I could hear them yell up the hill. So, okay, but it was on this side of the, not... this side of the creek though, right? Yeah, this side, but I don't know where they were. Okay. Or where the shoe was. I just, I just, I just, I just put it there because that's the side that you know, just, it could have been over here. You know, wherever they went down and on that path is probably mm -hmm. where it was. Yeah, okay. but I was probably right where that kind of bend is, like over, yeah, I was probably right there. that I dropped the girls off and I remembered what they were wearing. I knew exactly what shoes my sister and Abby were both wearing. If I would have walked probably five feet from where we were, I would have been um, maybe five yards from where her shoe was. Okay, is this about where her shoe was found right there? That's just where uh -huh. I put a pin. Like I, I honestly, I have no idea where the shoe was. I was way up here, up, up the hill on the private drive. Oh, you're right in this area, right where the. Uh, yeah, I was up here, a little closer to the bridge when they yelled it up. Okay. It wasn't long after they told us that they'd found the shoe that a searcher found the body.
When the girls' bodies were found, did the case immediately switch from missing person to double murder case, or was it a suspicious death type of investigation? No, any one of those will always be the worst case scenario, and they would work it backwards. So that was a that was a double homicide. How quickly was the scene secured and an investigation of two deaths started? Almost instantaneously, as I understand it. I got up there about two and a half hour, two hours or so after the girls were found, and at that time it was completely sealed. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't remember where I was at that point. I was like yeah. all over the place. I, I went to my grandpa's house, my other grandpa, and then after that, I'm like total blur until right. the funeral, and then after the funeral, I can talk about whatever. Mm -hmm. But before then, it's like everything's a little fuzzy. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. You were down here, and then you went back up to the private drive, and then, then somebody says, hey, we found a shoe, and then what did you do at that point? So then I was with, um, I was with a lady that actually worked at the school, um, so I knew her pretty well. Um, and when they yelled up that, not long after is when they said that they found the girls. I tried to run forward, and the lady that was with me actually held me back. She was like, we don't know who it is yet. We don't know. What they found was just wait here. Um, and so I did. And then I looked over and I saw that my um, grandpa Brad was actually right in front of me. Um, not the grandpa that you guys all know probably, but um, my other grandpa um, was over there. And my first reaction was to run to him and make sure that he was okay um, because he has heart problems. So we ended up getting on his four-wheeler and we rode down the private drive back to his house um because he doesn't live too far away from there so you went on this private drive this way yeah we went past abby's house he lives over there okay um, right, somewhere down there okay i don't want to i don't need to go to his house or anything but you yeah, know but he lives down there <laughs> but not, not next to abby but down a little ways um probably yeah not too far but so i went to his house um and i actually called my boyfriend's dad because he was an EMT. Um, I'm like, I don't know if my grandpa is gonna pass out right now, um, but if he does, I don't know what to do. So can you please come over here? And I, I let him know what was happening. Um, and at that point, I don't think that my family had been completely notified yet. Um, so I called my dad and I said, hey, I'm at Grandpa Brad's house, will you come over here? Um, and he came over, we all met there. Um, and then we all, all calm a guy. Um, well, ended, up, yeah. <laughs> ended up going to um, the command station is what it ended up being. But we went to City Hall where we ended up meeting all together as a family. And we were officially notified that it, they were identified as Abby and Libby. They didn't tell the public, I think, till the next day, though. Yeah, but... But they let us know we knew. Yeah. Things were we looking for while we were out there. Anything unusual. Anything unusual at the time. I have a I have one one big issue. When I, when I was out there, I was looking for like my sister. So then when I go to when they're like questioning me, they're like, Did you see anybody around you that you were like suspicious about? I'm like, No, I was looking for my sister, like on the ground somewhere. Right. So like now when I think back and they're like, Who was with you at the time? I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah, and that's something. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's a good answer. Yeah, I have no idea. If I, if something hits me and I'm like, oh, that guy that I saw, I'm like, I'll say something. I'll tell you guys. But I'm like, right now. And then, you know, that could know. happen eventually. Yeah. That could happen. Um, yeah. Me and my uncle actually crossed the bridge and we were yelling for them down there. And I remember getting to the end of the bridge and looking to the left and seeing, like, somebody had fallen down the hill over there. And I didn't think anything of it. Like, any everybody goes down the hill. But now, like... After taking my forensic classes, I'm like, I should have taken a picture of it. I should have, like... Did you see the disrupted ground? Is that why you thought somebody slipped down there? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Like, Did you see the disrupted ground? Is that why you thought somebody slipped down there? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, and, like, there could have been, like, a footprint or something that would have been helpful now, but I I wasn't thinking the no, worst. I, no, that's okay. So, that's like, a, yeah. sometimes that, like, gets yeah. me, like, maybe there was something there. Somebody knows something, Kelsey. I mean, we're going to... Somebody's going to wake up one day and say, I can't live with this anymore. Yeah. And that might be tomorrow. Absolutely.